come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you, throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, they not the habits man. Step up! These are the moments oh. when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense no matter what. These are the moments when every gangster gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in our self defense. In Jamaica's relentless war and crime, the worst criminals end up on the true island stories platform. These are their stories. Welcome to True Island Stories, part three, the finale of the deadliest gunman meeting in Montego Bay with shot down G man damage and a host of others, which this would make it part six of the certified savages. So we left off in part two when the meet now go on when the man goes up and should be six pants in a squash navel after shabby jeep G man and jack him around the car and make him know say yo took that one you understand me and uh, the meeting was highly amplified uh, the voltage were highly electrocusive silence compensated for any intended speech because the don he was disciplining his disciple and none of the blood grooms present dared made a move anti shabdan or their imminent consequence would be death this is the aftermath. So, a youth named Bradley Braduski did have G-Man fire, you know, which was a desert eagle with a 35 penny belly. A fire nine ball, them call it a Jericho eagle. Braduski stays on the one and give out G-Man a fire. And said that G-Man put in his back pocket and shot down. Say, how you do you? And goes, Hurr! and I try to take a fire from G-Man. I will lamp on G-Man and I rustle it like from G-Man in the car. G-Man did put up a little resistance, but Shabba gonna work it out. Uh-huh. Would you not resistance? So DJ take the desert back off a G man and put it on feet belly this time and say, Yo, yo, go and make me this here, you know what star. Oh, you know, I hear me chat to you, you know, eh? Me a chat, I hear the child chat over me. Remember, me set the things on could have survived in a youth. Meaning, and most never knew this. When everything calmed down, no, no, no. G Man, I talked to a pilgrim who was very close to Shabba, and he might tell G Man for cool, you know. And G Man said, Yo, me no, and none of them fussed their deal with me after today, you know. And none of them not stand up for me against that boy, you know. But at one time now, Shabba got around one next part with the rest of man them, and I reason with them, and I drink beer, and I sit and sit, you know. And G Man stepped to a pilgrim named Blue Boat and said, Hey, what are you, Blue Boat? I'm dead if you're dead, you know, watch here. Yeah? Be a thing you go on down the chop, you know. So G man I walk go up the road after everything done and Shabba say, Yo, how you go left my man? How you bet with me though? You, you bet with me though. But G man declined the offer and went on about his way. And that day changed everything forever. So when G man left, the 30 pilgrims he walked in the meeting with so boldly, all of them remained with Shabba. They had seen the bigger dawn at work. They never ever seen nobody dealt with G man in such a way disrespectfully and they never met Shabdan before till then and they were amazed they were starstruck Jiman however was left a shadow of himself his badness exposed cool up dwindled the next night our party I keep on the paper and a wrong turn I align on them far out car guess what them done the panic ground so damage feel back for him I see that back in a part two back you see me because I'm done shop in high place and I give him back his strength you know so man Shabba turn up over one party when they look all ah, the G-man soldier over which part Shabba done them turn up you know so you know a couple of them soldiers and one of you still did turn up around him you know one and two little loyalists so Shabba done said a peasant go call G-man and tell him yo I'm going to fall over you so man when the peasant go over there now and tell him say yo Shabba said I'm going over so you know G-man looked him dead in his eyes and said brother you see if I did DJ alone it over there I'm going you know but I'm not going to know them fast in there God Kill me, dog. So now, the peasant, the messenger, was left caught in two minds because he knew he couldn't go back to Shabba and tell him what the G had just recited. He knew that would spark a whole new drama. So him did a big G, man. You know, Danny, just go for the guy here out the man, the man. Him don't tell the same sorry, the brother. I know he don't like damage, brother. But just go here out the man. All right, if I have to just go for the guy, heal him up and cut. 
you can't get damage up over here, my lad. But as convincing as he was trying to be, he didn't move the needle, not even slightly in G-Man's mindset or the meter. G-Man said what he meant, and he absolutely meant what he said. And that was going to be that. So now the peasant was tasked with what the hell am I going to tell the dancer now? I can't go over there and tell him say, man, say him not come now. That I feel certain. So I can just go over there and say, yo, I'm saying so I'm coming up. <laughs> oh, Scott, that, that, that is why you know what? If you boot up about this, the dummy say, yeah, send me a tell the DJ. How oh, them boy and roll and all them man has. I'm for tell about him not come. Yo, tell about. So, as long as the night lasts, you know, G man not gone away, you know. So, the dummy just say, yo, watch and see, man. As long as the night lasts, man, him not come. No, man. Watch, yeah, watch. And he was right. G man held his ground. He never budged. And Shabba said, you see it? You see it's still the premium door. I remember early in the series when I told the damage was locked up and Shabba was abroad. Our beer squash man and them used to play and get beer forward. Well, on that night, not a single squash song played. Not one. I remember the selector was squash bridging Bonify Linky. But he didn't dare circumvent the circumference that night because nobody was joking around, which I understood don't have to be said. And he knew what he had to do and what he couldn't do. So he just played his position in the game. That night was a night to remember, but for some, to quickly forget. So the pilgrim did, you know, big DJ, you know, for changing mindset afterwards. And DJ did start agree with Damage Car. And I said Damage was right. G-Man was on roulette. And he, Shabdan, was going to have to discipline him. And he was right for doing what he did when he did it at the meeting. G-Man started with Deva. One time Shabba dropped in high place and I said, send call G-Man and G-Man said, Yo, I don't have to know them there. I said, I'm going to my pies you now. So I see if they want to come. Make them come. Anything or anything, brother. Poison, meaning he had his devilers fully loaded and ready for whatever. One time again Shabba dropped back in high place, you know. And they run him soldiers, them and a little pilgrim of a thing are clean. Like a idiot in every day. Come! I make the thing go off. Come! And a skeleton fly through Shab Danny. Fling him a ground. The Don was wounded. So, Shab had a girl, you know, close to him. Enough people never know him flying from far, you know, come down. She me around him, you know. She had a trust her and she me a set them go up on a location. And she took care of him while he was bed resting. While he received, well, unprofessional medical education. Like, <laughs> medical attention hmm? but that's the life of a gangster and the badness so dj you now i tell another pilgrim so john no star i get rid of jay man you know because if man i do it i'm seeing when i come there with me you know and some other pilgrim a big shabby i said don't dirty him, man a good you man i remember you know day up on the ground in a brother me i tell you you man a ride for you all day you know damage high corruption you know but you can't see it in a brother but shabba was adamant g man had to die if I go, you got to go, G-Man had to die. Let the gunshots flow. The girl has spoken. We have come to the end of the aftermath of the deadliest gunman meeting in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Part 6 of the Certified Savages. Join us for more stories coming soon. Now, the next part now, part 4, we are going to go into the badness between Eldan and Shaba. And how him get for broke where our cars that. So, stay tuned. That will come up. You understand me? If you watch to the end, thank you. Remember, please leave a comment. It help our algorithm. All right. Remember, Darker Side of Paradise. Audiobook. Written and narrated by Guru. If you want promo, the number and the price list in the video. You understand me? So, you link the God. So, you can support me. So, we can support those in need. Like, Dajik Henry series. So, we'll come up and we have some more badness, man. Some more bull be a badness will come up. We're going to listen out to that. And we have a damage series. Fully bully. Breakdown. I come up, you understand me? I know the pem pem, you see me, rebuttal the funny things, so you can go watch that, all right? And we are come off of the Matty series. We are good, please, maybe going to stay out of trouble. Live good in one another. Peace, me say, to the day me left this earth, all right? But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, and there's a chance you might end up enjoying stories, what? Well, you choose a. Uh... Why, yes, them so coming like the one out of all the girl in the man. I hear you with me. Question. What will you choose? Let God gonna come and TIS news. What will you choose?
cry peace all day in the field What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and CVM news What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose Don't say that with the touch Night time them run out full of dark Guns on one other, everything a sparks But who are the piranha? Which one of the shark? Moon and black are rims but the cats same soft And I estimate the pass and then get them at talk Screamers and white dream and them a war Whole place fuck up from them down with the boss Scared them bridge dream a rock man dark Whole place someone from them they could pay boy And the man drop and who get the joy? Panty eyes, you turn star But what will you choose? Let go the go that come panty eyes No, so what will you choose? Cry peace or dead in the field What will you choose? Let go the go that come and see the him No, so what will you choose? Cry peace or dead in the field What will you choose? What will you choose? Oh, what will you choose, oh, what will you choose? Charlie up black down rock foot Mikey Pelp, head in a boat No no drop but him badness a good Jet clean, make enough man fret for God Chubby dread and pug out a sort Not to mark down you enough man in mud Junglist them we kill you then go burn down your house CL in a tent at TN in a thump down no your mouth You do the crime then, you do the time Can't escape, you can't blur the line I choose the fifth and tear off the sign And you can't mix up looks, man, with up a film Marcel Port, more lone assassin One more shot, put the coat by the bing Rock coat, rise the four and the god that I sing What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and TIS news What will you choose? Cry peace all day in the field What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and see the M news What will you choose? Choose, lose, 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 l